almighty a few weeks back now got um won the title first round dash choke win can you break down in as much detail as you can from this obviously the two minutes from the start to the end with you getting the choke yeah so it was like a it was a battle of footwork really he was I expected him to like circle away from my right hand but to be fair he actually circled like into my right hand but like he circled really wide so I was trying to cut him off to make him circle the other way but he just kept because he was circling that fast like I knew he wasn't trying to engage because he was he can't throw punches while you're moving that fast he was literally just like skating around the side of the uh, the cage which I kind of expected but I thought he'd be doing it the other way so I, I was just trying to get him to change direction to then walk him into some strikes I managed to get him to change direction but I postured like uh, to shoot a takedown because that's what I was going for. I was trying to like you know get him to change direction into my shot. But as I level change, he actually level change underneath me. So I end up on a front headlock. Initially, I remember thinking it all happened so fast, but I was like right, like try to get to the back. Um, and then he he went like wide arm to like stop me circling to the back. But then as he as he went, you know. As he threw his arm over, it was straight there for the Anaconda. I think I had the, had the front airlock. I was looking for the darts, and then as he was uh, as he was going, he was like doing the right thing to defend the darts, and then I just played it with the Anaconda, got the finish. Um, as soon as I got my hands locked, it was one of them where you know it's like in tight. Some of them are like a bit shit, like they're on the neck, but like I felt that was a proper like a choke rather than like a neck crank straight away. So I knew I just needed to just keep patient and uh, squeeze. Was that something you'd drilled in training or was it just what had presented itself at the time? Not specifically for, for Shawan. Uh, I was planning on keeping it standing really in that fight. I thought he would be the one trying to get take down. So, no, it's not something I, uh, I anticipated, like, specifically the Anaconda choke, but I expected him to shoot. I thought I would, it would be, it, it went exactly what I thought. I'd be cutting him off, trying to, like, get my power down, trying to get my strikes landed. Uh, and then as soon as we'd engage, I knew he would want to get it to the ground because he didn't want to feel my power. So we did a lot from the front headlock and from the sprawl because like, I expected him to shoot um, on my terms through my pressure. So yeah, it kind of was. We, we, we looked for that, but not specifically that choke, but more just the front headlock. FCC title fight announces for yourself for December. Yeah. Fighting the number one ranked amateur flyweight in the country as the currently the number two. Yeah. How is that going to go? And when you beat him, what's, what's um, next? Yeah, I think he's obviously got a good record. He's nine and two, but his experience. But if you look, if you look on his record, if you look at the caliber of opponents he's fought, it's not the same as mine. Um, I think the last guy he fought was one and one. The one before that was I can't remember his exact record, but he's not. I won't say he's fighting as high level competition which is why I don't agree that he's gone back above me in the rankings without actually fighting, which I don't really get. But yeah, uh, I'm happy I get to prove that I'm number one, you know. Um, people regard him high. People think he's got really good jiu-jitsu, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good fight. I'm excited. I just, I just want to fight the best people. I just want to prove I'm the best, so him and then whoever's the toughest guy after that, that's what I'll, fight. That's what I'll do. How do you see your style matching up with his? So from what I've seen, so I haven't watched in too much detail yet, but he is he rushes forward like chaotically, uh, which isn't a good I don't think it's a good thing for him to do. I think he's gonna run onto my power, um, which is not a good idea. Um, I think he'll probably try and get it grappling, but I think he'll struggle in the wrestling. I'm small, got low hips, and I don't think he's got the best wrestling. He's more of a jits guy, so I think he'll struggle to get me down, I think he'll be stuck with the fight where he don't want it on the feet. Uh, and I think it's basically a matter of until I land. I think I'm better at fighting taller people. He's tall, skinny. I think I'll have the strength advantage, and I think, yeah, I think I'll be able to use my power in this one. Is there any other opponents that entice you after that? Connor Walsh. Yeah, I've said I've I won't, I've said I'll, they're they're the three names I said. I said Shawan, Tommy Clark, Connor Walsh. Um, so yeah, uh, it's for the interim title. So then I'll unify that with. Connor Walsh, whenever he's ready, sooner rather than later, hopefully, and then from there, whoever's the next supposed best, I'll fight them.